Hi, and welcome to Icarus. We are on beta weekend number two. I wasn't available to play the first weekend, so I have no skill tree whatsoever. We're starting at level zero. They added new things in this particular beta weekend. You now have 30 new caves that you can explore, and they added weather events. And the tech tree has now been increased to level 20. From my understanding, you can now craft cement, which you couldn't do in the first beta weekend. They doubled the explorable and playable area in the game, so you have a lot more that you can do. And the thing that's going to be the caveat in here as to whether or not you survive is the storms. So from my understanding, too, the storms are worse as you level up. So it's contingent on the player itself and the area that you live in. So the main thing that we need to do is to gather resources when we get out of our capsule and find a water source and get our first thatch home built because um, it's not going to take long for the storms to arrive and you take damage from being out in the elements. So, you know, the quicker that you can build a place and get inside, whether it's just one floor and four walls, the better for you. Uh, bear in mind that you can't build anything unless you have beams first. So always remember that you should get your your thatch beams uh, in order to be able to access the floors and the walls. So here we go. You'll land in the forest area and your biggest worry is going to be bears and wolves. And until you have something to kill them with, I would advise that you go in the opposite direction. However, you will need to kill animals because you won't be able to make a bedroll unless you have fur and leather, and that comes from killing animals. So, well, good luck, friends. let's see where we landed. Only got a little time. Pretty much Smart. seems to be taking us in the same area as before. Come back alive. So we probably want to go... Uh, somewhere in this area, I guess. G14, maybe. Where are we at? So we want to go over here. Too bad we can't mark the map where we want to go. So we want to go west. And on our way there, we want to gather. Pick up with F. Those berries. And you need these blue rocks on the ground. That's oxide. This is a toxic environment. You won't be able to breathe unless you have oxide. And you'll need these berries until you can find another food source and water. So gather these up. There's sticks laying on the ground. Get those too. And watch out for bears and wolves. You can hear the bears coming. You'll hear them grunt. And you, the wolves, you'll hear them howl. So you'll know they're in the vicinity. Just be very careful. Let's see if we can... Craft and craft that. And oxide here will go in your inventory and as your character needs it, they'll use it. And we get some stone here so that when we get our bow, we can make arrows. And level up as soon as possible. I'm going to go to G14, so we're heading in the go west a little bit. I'm going to level up as fast as possible. I can't even tell you the first time I played this last night was my first my first uh, introduction into the game and let me tell you from what I understand first beta weekend was easier but now they've made this one harder and after the countless deaths I had just trying to find water I would say that this game would be more enjoyable multiplayer it's very hard single player as far as I'm concerned 
then again, when you've been playing Seven Days to Die as long as I have and you're used to it, you know, the game gets easier. All right, let's see. We have uh, leveled up, so let's go into the tech tree. We want a fireplace, uh, a knife, our bow. Great. And talents, I'm going to go into solo and build. My health. We need to get another level up in order to be able to make our arrows. But let's make our bow if we can. And our knife. So at least we have something on us. In case we come across a wolf. The further away you go from your pod, the harder it is to kill the animals out in the wilderness because they get harder and harder as you head further and further away from the pod. But I have no choice. I have to find water and I have to find oxide. Come on, just another level. Give me just one more level. Take a while. You can repair by right clicking over it and hitting repair. Stamina is depleted already, really. Maybe I should have picked stamina instead of health. raccoon. I don't have anything to kill it with unless I walk upon it. Oxide. Get those berry bushes. I'm not too worried about the deer. They won't attack. And a wolf is in the area. Damn it. Happened sooner than I wanted to. And I hear a bear. Oxide over there. And in the first beta weekend, they actually had a map. And this weekend, they decided to take the map away. You will have to earn some T4, I think, in order, the Tech Tree 4, in order to be able to have the map now, which I think is ridiculous. But, you know, it is what it is.
So if I head, continue heading west, I should get to a water source, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but there should be a water source there. That sounds like a bear. There's a cave, and I bet you a bear lives in it. We don't want to find out, though, do we? And if you drink water from a cave now, you can get dysentery, which you couldn't before in beta weekend one, but they've changed it now, so be careful. We need water, so we need to get to water. I need to level up. He'll run. Bandages and I think we're gonna. I want to be able to run faster. <laughs> you never know. Oh, and I should be able to make arrows now. Let's uh, make 40. Oh, we found water. Come on, get me off of this. I'm stuck. Damn it. I should have picked us the ability to make my hut. And I didn't, which was a dumb move because something tells me that storms will be rolling in. head down there and get a drink if we can. <gasps> oh no, that's a bear sleeping. Run the other way. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Oh, this looks like a good place to build. So now we have to hit some stuff if we can stay alive long enough. Yeah, right on this ledge and then... What is that? Is that iron? Oh, silica. I want to keep my eye over there. The bear is moseying away now. And I want to put my campfire. Down. Because we are going to go fishing. So we can eat. Wow, if we could build here and then build a bridge over to there, that'd be nice. Need to level up, need to level up. Let's get rid of these trees.
And there's another oxide rock there. Let's get a drink. Get over there and get up. Oh, that's cool. Now, where's the fishies? Let's grab this tree. if we can get a raccoonie. There's a storm coming. Damn it. We have to be able to build and we don't have enough. We don't have enough points. Instead of picking the bandages, I should have picked the build. It's a windstorm. But we need 4,000 of experience yet to be able to build something. Don't go in the water. That's not going to happen. We're taking storm exposure because we don't have shelter. And we don't have enough points. We got many more blue po blueprint points. And we need food. I wonder if you go in the water if, you know, because you're not out here. I wonder if you're in the water if you have, uh, probably not. I'm getting exposure from being in here and I don't see any fish either. Cool that she you can hear her breathe though. That's pretty cool. Come on. I need to level up. Let's go. Shouldn't be able to chop underneath the water. Encumbered. Wonderful. Um, let's consume that then. We're a hundred of a hundred. We can drop that. So, all right, that's good. <laughs> Split. Yeah, sure. That was dumb. Didn't mean to do that. Took all my oxygen. Yeah, we're in, in bad shape here. Bad shape, no shelter. We're definitely going to die. 
Um, let's do nine. And let's see if we can give ourselves a fighting chance here. No, that's not helping. Oh wow, we're, we're in deep shit. Is the wind gonna get any better? A little lessen up a little bit. We need to eat too. No shelter, storm exposure. I'm hoping it's not gonna be a bad thing. <laughs> It seemed to, no, oh, it's still going up. I was gonna say it seemed to stop a little, but. We need to find food. Oh wow, there doesn't seem to be any fish in this lake. Well. At least we know where we're going when we die. We'll be coming back here. Yeah, we're gonna die from exposure. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. I picked the wrong thing instead of picking bandages and stuff. I should have picked building house for thatch and then we'd have, we'd be all right, but come on, get up there. Uh, we got lucky. We really got lucky. Okay, we're going to deactivate this in a moment. There's a wolf over there. I wonder if we can get him. Damn it. Okay, got his attention. Is he gonna be able to get up here though? He died. We have food. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, hit F with your knife to cut him up. And then we'll have meat. All right, let's go make this on the campfire. Uh, we leveled up, so now we can get our thatch. So let's go to the tech tree. Let's go over here and get our thatch beam. Our thatch floor, our thatch walls, and our talents. Let's go let's see what are we, we're 400 on health, so let's get another health. All right, so. I think I'm gonna build here for now. Seems like the most logical choice. So let's go to crafting. Let's make, okay, we, we need more fur and leather for that. So let's make four beams. We'll make two floors. And as many walls as we can. Uh, 
Actually, I think we need more beams. Well, let's just see. Let's put this down. So we got... another floor down which means we'll need let's see can we have another we need a roof so that's five no six okay and then five have to cut more trees. How do you, how do you move it? How do you move it so that it's in a different, there you go. I guess that way is good. No. I did that one wrong. I put the stupid crap on the inside. So, you're going to have to fix that. She needs, I need to get oxide. I have to go across and get oxide. I need to cook this. I'm going to make sure that there's no... Is there any oxide over there? Looks like there might be. Oh, there's some down here. That's silica. That's not oxide. Is there any around here? I have to go. I have to go over there and get oxide. Last thing we want to do is run out of oxide. Yeah, I put that other one the wrong way too. repair first. I can't repair it. You can take it down with Y, but I went and hit it first, which was dumb, so can't repair it. So we need more walls. So this one here is on the wrong side as well. So if I hit Y... There you go. Okay, so let's hop in here and do seven. It's facing outward. Yes.
And then we can put a door on here. I don't think I can make doors yet, can I? I don't think. All right, anyway, we have to go over there and get the oxide, but let's eat first. Let's take this and um, deactivate this. I wonder if you could use this as a storage. I mean, why not, right? Let's use it as a storage. I don't know what it's going to do with the wheat, but... Silica ore, don't need that on us right now either. And let's consume that. So we have, and the stuff that we carry on us, we can lose when we die. It disappears. So if you don't have to carry it on you, <laughs> don't. It's a bad situation to have it on you. So I would advise that you would get get it off your person as quick as possible. Okay. And they should automatically stack this stuff. They should give us an inventory sort. And they don't. So we need to go over there and get more oxide. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to get my ass ripped by a bear. And let's repair this. Why is my, oh, my stamina is depleted because I'm out of oxygen. Or my oxygen is running low. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go over here and get that oxide and see if we can cut. Get some more rocks or something to... to level up once more. I see there's more over there. I just want to make sure there's no bears to bug us. I'd love to get some fish, but this lake doesn't seem to have much fish in it, which is a bummer. get this one too. The more the merrier. Come on. Do it, do it, do it. I mean like 4,000 more in order to level up. Keep a lookout on your surroundings. <laughs> Keep a lookout on your surroundings. Oh, there's a waterfall over there. Probably should have built by the waterfall. I wonder if there's any fish over by the waterfall. Doesn't seem to be any here. I'm really surprised there's no fish. Yeah. 
So we're actually dependent on wolves and bears for meat. Didn't I just see a bush? All right, let's not press our luck. Nice. More meat. Let's take that off. Come on. Let's not make this. Alright, there's another bush. Yeah, from what I understand, it's harder to get, it's harder to kill with one shot. He'll run. Yeah, see? A lot easier to get the wolfies. All right, let's go over here. It's going to be nighttime shortly. See if I can get the rest of our stuff. Doesn't seem to be any sponges in the water. All right, let's this and um, this fish will cook I hope nothing else in there cooks actually let's see if we have enough to make our bed roll now we just might let's see We do. Awesome. So we can lay this down inside of our little hut. Um, this is zero. Let's put it here. And let's hold it to make our spawn point. And there we go. I think I'm going to end this one here. I mean, this is pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. So thank you for spending time with me. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, come back here for the next, the next adventure in the series. Until then, you take care. Be safe. Have fun. I'll see you soon.